In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a simple little cover three beater that you can use. It's really, really good against the cover three. It's also really good against the uh, cover three D-tap as well. It's just a simple flood concept from spread. So let's jump into the video. But before we do that, um, for those of you that have never been to my channel before, my name is Cody. And basically, this channel is about Madden 21 tips and tricks videos. So every single day, I'll post four tips or tricks, just different route combinations like you're about to see. Um, yesterday, I posted uh, a really, really good nickel 335 defense. Um, so just different tips and strategies. I posted a run defense earlier today. Um, our next video will be live at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. But anyways, let's just jump right in here. This is Gun Spread Y Flex from the Arizona Cardinals Offensive Playbook. Um, it's one of my favorite formations in Madden NFL 21 because of just the um, because of the way that it uh, just kind of stresses the defense to be quite honest now um, again if you haven't been to my channel before and you're interested in getting those tips I would encourage you right now to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen and we're just gonna go against a you know standard cover two or um, I'm sorry dime two three six Sam and we're gonna work through some of the coverages now the first coverage um, that we're gonna work through is obviously the cover three uh, defense. I forgot that when we come out in this, you have to put the uh, cover three in your audibles. So let's hit that real quick. Um, just a basic cover three uh, defense. Looks like we might have to actually just use the, the dime one four six. So we'll just use dime one four six. It's no big deal. Um, we got the let's grab the Tampa two real quick. Let's grab the cover four, and we'll roll with cover three. So. Gun spread, in my opinion, is really, really good. It's really, really, really good if it can beat man coverage. If you can learn how to use um, some of these routes to beat man-to-man -man coverage, this offense becomes really, really effective. Now, uh, real quick, what most people are going to be doing out of their cover three, if they just come out in a base cover three shell just like this right here, um, what you're going to see is we're just going to put our right of screen slot receiver on a simple streak. That's the only adjustment, really. The only other thing I like to do is take the left of screen um, wide receiver and I'll put him on either a curl or I'll put him on a dig, uh, just something simple here. And what you're going to see at the snap of the ball is this tight end on the right side of the screen will occasionally uh, burn the defense deep. It depends on the awareness a little bit of the corner on that side. So I'll show you this again. So this is cover three. You got outside third here from um, Stephon Gilmore. And we're in the mesh. And we're just going to pop that tight end on a streak. Now, if you wanted to leave the mesh, what you could also do is you could take Marquez Vada Scantling, motion him over, and put him on a streak. It does sometimes work a little bit better this way. And the primary reason for that is because the tight end is on the line of scrimmage, whereas the slot receiver is now off the line of scrimmage, and the timing of the routes will basically kind of sync up, effect essentially. And what you'll see right here is you can hit this right up the seam, and it partially might be because of Stephon Gilmore's awareness, but most people are going to deep half, and so I want to show you um, really quickly what this looks like against deep halves. So if you deep half, um, you are going to be able to take away that streak on the right side, but we're going to basically have a simple flood. So you're going to basically read high-low. Is he going? Is he going to the flat? Is he going to um, the other routes? Now, uh, with this cover three, I'm going to flip it, and the reason I'm going to flip it is because I want the purple zone to come from that slot corner. What you'll notice when they run purple zones from the slot corner, uh, specifically, is typically they're going to kind of sit on that streak, and when they sit on that streak, you can pop that corner out very, very easily against this cover three zone. So let me just say, for example, um, we're fa you're facing cover three sky, right? So let's say they do something like this. And this is something that you'll see. If they're using Dime 146, it's very likely that they're going to be using on this guy right here. So they might set their defense up to look, you know, essentially like this right here. So they still have everything that, you know, you would have out of this. The only difference being, you know, that they've got basically a little bit better coverage. But essentially when the, when the inside linebacker or the slot corner is the person on the purple zone, that's going to change a little bit of how well they're going to be able to defend this. If you have a gunslinger quarterback like a like a Brett Favre or an Aaron Rodgers in regs or a Josh Allen, um, you're going to find that this route right here is still really really effective. Um, it was more it was a little bit more effective last year in my opinion. But basically, I mean, even when they put their purple zones out here, what you'll see is this route is going to get separation if they are deep halfing those outside guys. I've been experiencing a lot of coverage defense and a lot of cover three deep half. So this little tip right here is something that you can really use. 
you know, we've kind of gone away from out routes, outbreaking patterns this year, um, just because of the way man-to-man -man coverage will defend them. But I do want to show you that corner routes are still good, especially when they're on the outside wide receiver. So um, this corner route to Devontae Adams is a sh very sharp corner route. As you can see, it's like a, it's almost like an out route. And the reason that that matters is because right at the cut, right there, he will oftentimes beat his man as long as he doesn't have one step ahead. So, you know, again, there's a little bit of back and forth here. If they have one step ahead on their corners, then, again, you know, he might have an advantage here. Let me show you this real quickly. But these corner routes um, really aren't too shabby. And you'll see if he's shading outside, you can actually throw that ball uh, with a low ball. Let me show you what I'm talking about right here. Get the setup in real quick. And we're going to shade coverage outside, shade coverage over top. And what you'll see on this out route right there, you see the separation he's getting. So if I throw it, if I time it right, um, you really just want to throw this right on the break. And as long as I get the timing right on this, uh, you'll see right there. That's the separation we're looking for. And if you have a route technician or you have like a, a stud receiver that can run that route, that's going to be very, very consistent for you. Out routes and corner routes are starting, I think, to come make their way back into the game. And like, we'll show you this out route real, real quick right here on the left. You see that right on the cut, right on the break, the out route beats man, right? Right on the cut, right on the break. Now, let me just show you this. Uh, let me put Devontae Adams on a smart routed out route. Let me just show you what I'm talking about here. So obviously you have the cover three beater. The question is, can this hold up against man? Can this hold up against cover two? Because ultimately, those are the things that the defense is going to do. As you can see here, uh, with one step ahead on the, on, the, on the corner, they will sit a little bit better on these um, out routes. In Mutt, I've actually been seeing a lot of people go away from one step ahead, primarily because they want to have a little bit better um, you know, abilities on their defensive linemen. But if you lowball the out routes against the shaded coverage over top meta, you're going to be fine. Um, you're going to be able to complete that at a high clip. Now, let me show you really quickly, press man, and let me show you that shaded to the outside, just so you can see kind of what you're getting into here. Um, press man, and you see that corner route's going to beat that one step ahead corner, especially press man. And the reason press man is not good is because typically in press man, they're going to be trailing. Uh, they're going to be in trail technique. And so typically that will actually be effective. But with this specific corner route, because it's a sharp cutting corner route, oftentimes this will be left wide open. Now on the left side here, if you, if you throw that at the snap, you see the out route is not quite the same story. What I would much rather you do, and that's why I like to just put him on a simple curl route, even though out routes, um, even though out routes still work, um, I find a simple curl route to be much, much more effective out of this specific offense. And then you're just going to basically pass lead down, and you're going to um, click on and basically make a catch. But overall, guys, this route combination right here, again, it's a very simple one. You can easily uh, turn this into, you know, very, very, like I said, you know, you can turn this into very, very simple route combinations right here with a drag. You see these, these the, the key route that I wanted to show you was that outside corner route. It's one of the only routes uh, or one of the only formations. It's the only spread formation where you have that specific corner route going to the outside of the screen. So when they're running their cover three, you're actually going to see here, that if he runs cover three, I can pop this route up the seam, as you can see right there. Easy read, easy hit for um, for a good game. Now, if I go to let's say, let's say I go to cover three, and let's say I take let's say I take this linebacker, throw him in a curl flat, and let's just get that get that safety out of the way. Now that's you know you'll see this more from like a nickel uh, type of package, but within these defenses. This, this formula that we've basically created here with this corner route streak um, formula, you should see um, if he doesn't go, if he doesn't go uh, with that deep uh, corner route, you can hit the deep corner route very, very easily. And oftentimes he won't, to be quite honest with you, because a lot of times, like I said, I've been getting a lot of people that have been deep happy in their outside corners to defend this. And this little quick route um, is going to really hit them pretty easily um and it gets what i like about it is it, it really does work um against the purple zones even if they're doing those shades it's one of the only routes in the game that because it is it's because it's coming from the outside right it's because it's coming from the outside so what this is going to force them to do is it's going to force them to go into tampa 2 and then you can basically run route combinations against that as well so you go to something like y stick and you'll see that this route on the right side 
um, is going to be able to beat that cover two defense. So there's just a little quick tip for you out of spread, a little couple route combinations that you can use uh, in your offense to kind of uh, take advantage of that deep halving of the safeties. That cover three beater, um, like I said, and I think they've actually honestly been patching a lot of these cover three beaters. I'm not quite sure as to why, uh, because cover three is kind of the number one defense, at least that I've been seeing online. But um, like I said, typically this this route to the tight end will work. If, it, if you want to, you can also take your running back, put him on just a little quick streak. And what you'll see here is Steph he'll get up in the seams in a very tender spot. Actually, one of my favorite ways to beat zone is to use this specific route combination right here. Just gun spread. All you got to do is streak the running back. And what you'll see is he'll get over the yellows. And basically, it's just a pass lead up in inside. And, um, and he'll be able to do that. I'll show you really quickly here before we uh, jump off. But again, he'll just step up, step up, step up. Of course, go practice mode. You know, every player is Dwight Freeney in practice mode. We'll show it to you one more time. I recommend, if you're labbing, I recommend not sending a, a pass rush because if you set a pass rush for whatever reason this year, they're just going to torch you. But as you can see, you can get that brawl right up the seams against any left. You know, the hook curls are going to really go with, with that route. But, um, but yeah, and then let me, uh, let me just flip the play real quick. I just want to show you, and it possibly has to do with Stephon Gilmore's awareness. So let me just flip the cover three and flip everything for you and just show you what could happen with this cover three beater, as you can see right here. Right here, you see how I can hit him up the seams? That's kind of what I'm talking about um, as far as that one play touchdown goes. If they deep half, even if they deep half, I do want you to see this really, really quickly before we jump off. If they deep half their their uh, secondary, as long as that safety, like if they're if they you know maybe they jump to this drag on the right, as long as that safety is not in the way, you can pass lead that inside and possess and catch that fairly easily against a cover three because of the rolling of the safeties that is about to occur. Now if the safety is in the middle of the field, you know you know you might not have as much success, but just know this route combination I think fairly effective, especially against the cover three meta that I've been seeing online. Um, if you guys want more uh, exclusive high-level Madden tips, I'd highly encourage you to join our text message membership. I released a over an hour long of a bunch. One of the guys said it's the most in-depth breakdown he's ever seen on the shotgun bunch formation. So if you want to get that access to that video, it's completely free. Just shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644, and I will shoot you um, that bunch breakdown. Also, guys, if you want to pick up the full offensive scheme uh, from the Arizona Cardinals playbook, we've got over 125 pages of material with over 10 hours of video breakdown that go through exactly how to run an air raid offense in Madden 21. So if you want to do something like that, um, that link is in the description. It also comes with my 46 uh, defensive playbooks got the big nickel, nickel normal, nickel three three five, all the good stuff out of there. So um, if you want to pick those guides up, that's in the description um, for you as well. And if you want to join the Discord, that is also in the description. Like I said, our next video will go live at 6 o'clock Eastern time. Um, but until then, guys, check out some of these videos on screen, and we will see you on our live stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern right here on our YouTube channel.